The next piece of software I'm going to have a little look at is Virtual DJ and this is one of the bits of software that has been on the market for a long time, uh, has a lot of the market using it so let's check it out and see if it still stands up to the test. Okay so to come into Virtual DJ a lot of the visual style is quite similar to what we've already seen on Serato Live and Mix as well. You know you've got your browser functions here to go through all of your folders and find the music that you're after. And then you've got a little bit more information over here. If I just hide my camera for a sec behind me, there is this section over here that's got, you know, information on the song, which is a little bit similar to what you would expect to see in record box and the like. If I bring my camera back on, I think we will probably agree that the look overall, at least for me as someone who started out on vinyl, this is quite a nice interface to look at. It looks very much like a set of decks, left deck, right deck, mixer in the middle. Um, something else that's pretty cool inside the Virtual DJ software is you have options on your standard kind of low, mids and high EQ. Or you've got this, which is a really intuitive and interesting take on EQ. It allows you to drop the beat out or the instruments or the vocals or leave one and the other to uh, stay in the mix, which is really cool. And we'll give that a go and see how it sounds in a, just a sec. They do have other options, you can keep it normal, you can use the modern EQ which gives you the options to add beat instrument vocal effects into these pads over here. So you can kind of customize the layout however uh, you need. Let's uh, load a couple of songs in and attempt to mix. I'm going to, for the sake of keeping it simple, I'm going to hit that BPM and that puts everything in this folder in order of BPM which means you're going to find a couple of tracks that should be easy to mix but for the sake of the demo we will mix something a little slower with something a little faster so let's put this track in now that's a really nice effect it it makes it look like a record straight away I like the look of that um, so we got 136 beats per minute let's get something like 140 in yeah, J beats in there so we got red deck blue deck nice and easy to see uh, crossfader Obviously, if it's this way, you're just going to get blue. If that's that, that way, you're just going to get red. That's really cool. Um, now, this match function has a little exclamation. I think that's to let me know that the two songs are not going to mix in their current state. So what we'll do, we'll start playing this track. And then we'll have a little play around and see if we can get this mix sounding real nice. Track playing. Now, if I turn off instrument there, it's kind of picked out that lead synth and just taken it all the way out. And it turns it up and down on the uh, waveform at the top, which is a nice touch too. So I'm going to hit this match button, and there you go. It's banged it straight up to 140. If I press this sync button, it says it will match the BPM and smoothly catch up the phase in order to synchronize this track with the opposite deck. And there's a uh, keyboard shortcut to do that as well, which uh, I should have mentioned is, is common across all of these that we're testing out. The keyboard shortcuts are there as well. I'm going to hit this mix assist button. Let Virtual DJ deal automatically with the beat synchronization and you can focus on the artistic side of your mix. Well, let's hit that and see what it does. Okay, I'm going to be mixing this in now. Okay, you can hear they're in time. Let's take the beat out from the Razor track. We see if we can get just the vocal. Attempt an a cappella vibe. It sounds a little bit muffled. Let me bring the beat up and see how it sounds. Okay, 
Let's try a wheel up on this one. It's just like messing about with vinyl in that sense. Bit of scratching. Nice little touch that. Let's pull that over there and attempt another mix. Placey Jones in there. Hit mix assist. Looks like it's locked in. So overall, pretty easy to mix with and like visually I quite like the look of the decks and I think you've got options up here to change the layout. So let's have a look at how this changes things. Essentials. Okay, so it's just changed the layout of your effects and your pads there. Vocal, instrumental, bass. Let's see what happens when we press these buttons. Let's cut the bass out. Let's cut the kicks out. It's a pretty intuitive bit of kit, that. Um, I'm sure DJs have a lot of fun playing with that. I don't know what the slicer does, let's see what this does. Play the selected beat while the button is pressed. Let's see what happens. Not the cleanest use of it, but uh, you get the gist. I think overall, pretty good attempt that one. Virtual DJ. Um, visually quite quite appealing and nice and easy to use especially if you need a bit of help syncing things up that was super easy to lock the beats in and those added options to like take the beat out the instrument or the vocal uh, definitely a nice little feature there